Hello, my ravenous readers. It's Uncle Sean here. Welcome back to Kelly Street. Another week is over, but that brings us all that much closer to our newest read aloud. If you've been enjoying our reading time together, you can help this channel grow by liking this video, subscribing to Kelly Street Productions, and hit that bell icon so YouTube will let you know when we release a new video. So you might have noticed there's been a little change in scenery here. That's because we're not on Kelly Street right now. Today, we're actually coming to you from Chestnut Street here in the city of Philadelphia. And just between you and I, Chestnut Street Productions just doesn't have the same ring to it. So we're sticking to the original title. Besides, we haven't moved to Philadelphia forever. We've only relocated here for a little while. Let me try to explain. I've talked about my amazing wife, Diana, and my soon to arrive son or daughter, Baby K, on the show before. Well, let's just say we're a whole lot closer to meeting Baby K for the first time. The baby is due very soon now, so Diana and I moved into the Ronald McDonald House here in Philadelphia so we can be close to the hospital where my wife will have the baby. The Ronald McDonald House is an amazing place where families can stay when they need to visit a hospital that's far from their home. So Diana and I have been getting used to living in a new neighborhood. The city of Philadelphia can feel very different from the neighborhoods we left behind. So we've been meeting our neighbors, learning how to get around, and where to find different important places like the supermarket, the drugstore, and in our case, the hospital. So this week, we're going to read a selection of poems written by one of my role models, the late, great Fred Rogers. And many of my younger readers may not recognize the name Mr. Rogers, and perhaps have never seen an episode of Mr. Rogers' Neighborhood. It was a children's show which ran for 31 seasons and contained over 900 episodes. I want to let his poetry speak for itself, but what you must know about Fred Rogers is that his goal was to instill in his young viewers the values of kindness, self-awareness, and self-esteem. His show taught children the power of play and imagination, and finally, that they're worthy of love, just the way they are. So neighbors, sit back, get comfortable, and let's read. Trolley, neighborhood of make believe. It's you I like. It's not the things you wear. It's not the way you do your hair. But it's you I like. The way you are right now. The way down deep inside you. Not the things that hide you. Not your toys. They're just beside you. But it's you I like, every part of you. Your skin, your eyes, your feelings, whether old or new. I hope that you'll remember, even when you're feeling blue, that it's you I like. It's you yourself, it's you. It's you I like. You never know the story by the cover of the book. You can't tell what a dinner's like by simply looking at the cook. It's something everybody needs to know, way down deep inside, that things are often different than the way they look. When I put on a costume to play a fancy part, that costume changes just my looks. It doesn't change my heart. You cannot know what someone's thinking by the picture you just took. Because things are often different from the way they look.
Some things I don't understand. Some things are scary and sad. Sometimes I even get bad when I'm mad. Sometimes I even get glad. Why does a dog have to bark? Why does an elephant die? Why can't we play all the time in the park? Why can't my pussycat fly? Why, 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 why? I wonder why. Why do fire engines make noise? Why is hot water so hot? Why aren't live babies like my other toys? Why do I wonder a lot? Someday, oh someday, I'll know what to say. Someday, oh someday, I'll not have to say. Why? Well, let's, well, let's have, have some, some more make-believe. Make As the trolley goes by the castle garden in the neighborhood of make-believe. What, what, what do you think? What do you think is important? Really? What, what, what do you think? What do you think really counts? What do you think about other people? What do you think about new ideas? What, what, what do you think? What do you think is important? Some people think that houses and cars and lots of fancy toys are things that are most important for grown-up girls and boys. Of course, houses are nice if there's love inside, and cars are too if they run well. It's the things that we do with the toys that we have that help us to feel that we've done well. What, what, what do you think? What do you think is important? Really? What, what, what do you think? What do you think is best? What kind of world would you like to live in? What kind of love would you like to give? What is essential for you and your neighbor? What, what, what do you think? What do you think is important? It's a beautiful day in this neighborhood, a beautiful day for a neighbor. Would you be mine? Could you be mine? It's a neighborly day in this beauty wood, a neighborly day for a beauty. Would you be mine? Could you be mine? I have always wanted to have a neighbor just like you. I've always wanted to live in a neighborhood with you, so let's make the most of this beautiful day. Since we're together, we might as well say, would you be mine? Could you be mine? Won't you be my neighbor? Won't you please? Won't you please? Please won't you be my neighbor? Hi, glad to see you today. Well, that was a little taste of the poems you can explore here in a beautiful day in the neighborhood written by Fred Rogers and illustrated by Luke Flowers. And there are many other great poems to be found within the pages of this book. Fred Rogers spent his long career creating many different types of content. In addition to the five poems we explored today, Fred Rogers composed over 200 songs and poems and was the author of many great books for children, such as the First Experience series and the Let's Talk About It series. He even wrote a number of successful books for adults. In 1999, he was inducted into the Television Hall of Fame, and in 2002, he received the Presidential Medal of Freedom for all the good work he had done throughout his career. Sadly, Fred Rogers passed away in 2003, but his legacy and his values live on through his show, his books, his poetry, and his songs. And for those of us who took his lessons to heart, his legacy lives on in us. Do you like to draw with crayons? I do. But I'm not very good at it. But it doesn't matter. It's just the fun of doing it that's important. Now, before we wrap things up, I want to share an exciting accomplishment of our own. 
namely that as of recording this video, we have just reached the 200 subscriber mark. Everyone here at Kelly Street Productions is excited to share our love of reading and our love of books with a growing number of you ravenous readers. You know, half the fun of doing these read-alouds is having an audience to enjoy them with us. So thank you for being here, and we hope you come back and join us again soon. Today, I'll leave you with the immortal words of Fred Rogers. We always have things to talk about, don't we? And things to do together. I look forward to our times together. You make each day such a special day. You know how, by just your being yourself. That's right. There's only one person in this whole world like you. And people can like you exactly as you are. I'll be back next time. Bye. I'm so excited you're gonna be coming any day now. Well, look who's still here. Well, if you've made it to the end of the video, then you must have time for a joke. Since Diana and I have moved to a new neighborhood, how about a neighbor joke? You ready? Yeah. Knock, knock. Who's there? Olive. Olive who? Olive next door. Hi, neighbor. <laughs> Get it? See you next time.